Matilda. Hey, congratulations on your series of uh, threesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. I know it's a um it's 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 coming up on Viaplay, and for some unknown reason, I was thinking like Nordic noir type of a uh, series and shows <laughs> out of the Scandinavian. And so when I start watching, I was going, "Wait a minute, this is something entirely different." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think it's a great mix between kind of the Nordic feel and the authenticity that we very much strive for here in the Nordics, uh, and also uh, a more like international um eye on it i would say uh it's really interesting actually <laughs> <laughs> so so matilda tell, tell me uh, what initially drew you to this to this project to this subject so um when i i got the the casting i was just shocked by how well written the script was it's it's phenomenal it was phenomenal from the start lisa the director and writer is an awesome writer uh, and then I I read the plot I loved it and then also I read the sex scenes of course it's a huge part of the show and I was really intrigued about um, portraying female sexuality uh, portraying um, real intimate scenes that we hadn't seen before especially not here in the Nordic countries we don't we're not very good at it we haven't done anything similar I feel like uh, and then it's it, it, Siri is just a dream role. She's fantastic. I I I, I just felt like I w when will I ever get this opportunity again to do this fantastic uh, three hundred and sixty character who's just the bad guy and the good guy at the same time. Uh, so I think it was everything. I just I fell in love from the start. Is it's it's a subject like threesome is a taboo subject over in the region where you. Uh you know, grew up and lived too? Um, I would say so. Uh, we are quite liberal with, when it comes to like sex scenes and talking about sex and stuff. But I, I do feel like when we had, uh, when we aired, um, people were quite shocked uh, and kind of, they didn't really know how to feel about it. Um, since I, I strongly believe that there hasn't been anything done like this before quite. Yeah, it, it has, but not for like this kind of audience. Um, and yeah, it's, it, it is a hard subject to talk about. People are really afraid to ask about it. Uh, and and they get, I, I sometimes when I meet people who've seen the show, I, I can tell that they have a kind of a hard time looking me in the eyes because they're like, oh, sorry, I, I saw the series. Sorry, I, I saw Threesome. It's great, but sorry. Yeah, sorry, it's, it's great. Because <laughs> they get kind of like um, embarrassed about it. But, but I, I hope it's going to change. It's, when we continue to do well-written sex scenes, it's going to change, I feel like. Um, it it seems like uh, you're so uh, comfortable um, with you know your sexuality or or, or scenes out of this uh, type type of a se series. Were, were, were mm -hmm. you when you approached? Were you already comfortable with with this all of this? Um, I would say no. Uh, I was terrified to be honest because I hadn't done anything like it before. Um, I think also there. For me, it was also kind of a revenge because I've had struggles uh, before. And I was like, this is kind of a chance for me to show fe as like, like a female who has who owns her own sexuality, who owns her like sexual encounters. She's not being uh, dominated, uh, but she owns it and she wants stuff. She is not just being pursued. Um, and that was really important for me uh, and kind of like a, 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 a comeback for myself to be like, I own this. This is my me telling this story, which was very empowering. And I've learned so much about myself, but it was it was incredibly tough. I was I was an emotional wreck. I can tell you that much, <laughs> um, but I'm so proud of it. I know I was I was going to ask you, how how do you get in the mindset of Siri and then at the end of the day, turn that off? I mean, that that that's because because Siri was going she was mm. going in a spiral um, through all. Yeah, that. she was. And and it was it was really hard. Uh, I was completely empty when I got home to the hotel uh, when we were done filming and when I was done when we wrapped 
it took me a, at least a month, I would say, to get back to who I was <laughs> and just to kind of let go of what we, we've been doing. And I've been living this set. Um, so since it was my first big job, I think that also comes with being completely green to acting in that kind of way. So I've learned a lot when we shot the second season now uh, last year. It was way easier. I, I had such a mentally such an easier time to deal with it. Um, but yeah, I, I and you know what? I really wanted to do a good job. I really wanted to be hella brave. I wanted to be just push through and do everything perfectly and I think that kind of like bit me in the ass <laughs> after a while because I'm like <laughs> I, I just I just I'm gonna be so brave I'm gonna be perfect and then all of a sudden you're like I can't do this anymore I'm 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 breaking but I had such big support from the team and from my co-actors they were amazing and they really held me together um through this entire thing especially the director she held my hand through it all and it was She's so fantastic. So I'm really thankful. I was going to say that the, the, the chemistry between you and Simon was uh, pr mm -hmm. pr pretty good in this series too. Yeah, we we did have time to hang out uh, before we started shooting. And so we knew each other when we met on set. And we, because it was the peak of Corona when we filmed, we were actually locked into a hotel. <laughs> so uh, me and him and all the other actors, we really got to know each other very well and kind of got to debrief and talk about it. And and uh, he really became like a family member to me. Me, him and the director, we were like a, a, a inseparable trio. And we still are. I love them to death. They're, they're the best. Uh, well, but I, I think... Oh, sorry. Sorry. No, go ahead. You, what were you thinking? I think you can really like sense that me and Simon really respect each other and and feel for each other um in and, and it was such a luxury to be able to to connect on that level with a cold colleague because i don't think that's very common um you don't have the time for that usually most excellent well matilda let me leave with one more thought because mm -hmm. i want to say your english is actually pretty good but you have to go back and forth between what english and it was it swedish was, yeah Mm -hmm. I mean, was that diff difficult um, um, for you uh, going back and forth? I, I figured it was maybe as difficult as having a threesome. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It, we, I did get a, a coach. Uh, so I had an English coach before we started shooting. And then, you know what? You get so much from, from working together with British actors. They gave me so much uh, confidence. Uh, and, you know, we we, uh, we t get taught English uh, from a y very young age. So it's a big part of, of like, every Swede's uh, personality and how we talk. Uh, but, yeah, it, it is completely different, but it, different from acting in Swedish. But it, it was super fun. I hope to do it again. <laughs> well, you did. So thank you, for, <laughs> thank you very much, Matilda, for this conversation. Thank you for bringing in something different. It, it is certainly an eye opener, and I, I walked right into it not knowing what what this was about. I, I thought it was another like murder mystery, and it was nothing like that. So th <laughs> no, completely different. Thank you so much. This has been so lovely. Thank you for your amazing questions. Hey, thank you. Appreciate it. Bye. Yeah, have a good one.